Hello, I'm Steve Quast and welcome to the YouTube video series on the power of space. This one is on reducing pollution. So we all know that as we moved into the industrial age and as we used electricity and petroleum products to uplift the human condition, that we have done good things by lifting so many millions and billions of people out of poverty. But we have to live with the pollution, the carbon emissions, all of these things that are just a result of Western civilization and the ways we make life better for people. It doesn't have to be that way. The power of space is that we could go on a journey where we build out capability to deliver clean energy to Earth. And by doing so, start reducing this shackle we have to live with called pollution. But it goes even further. Our nuclear power plants deliver energy to people. That's a good thing. But the spent uranium rods are pollution. We have to manage them, we have to control them, or the radiation would kill people. The power of space and the affordable ability to get to space could allow us to take that pollution, that uranium rod, and hurl it into the sun, the greatest incinerator on planet Earth, where all that pollution gets churned up into the cauldron of the universe and delivered back to us as clean energy. Think about what we could do if we could affordably send all pollution off of our Earth and create a planet that is a sanctuary for human existence. And anything that exudes pollution is done in space where we can get rid of it in meaningful ways that does not harm humanity. That's the power of space. Thank you for listening to this series on the power of space.